back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. You're probably thinking, Shannon, you're not in your normal surroundings. Oh my lovelies, what a day I've had. What a day I've had. So, Sunday, I packed because I actually drove up to Warwickshire to see Brandon's sister, fiance, and Baba. So, I thought that's easy. Two and a half hours out of the six and a bit hours done. Today I had all intentions of stopping at halfway up because it did say it was going to take me 4 hours 45. I left Warwickshire at half 11 and it said I was going to get here for quarter past 4. So I thought, you know what, I'll stop off halfway, get at like a Starbucks or a Costa drive through pick up the uh, vlog and we'll start the vlog actually. No, that didn't happen. Um, there was trouble on the M6 and two junctions were closed. The rain was like flash floods, so there's going to be no little nice driving montages, unfortunately, my lovelies, because I'm on my own. It's not responsible to be filming while I'm driving on my own, and especially when the flash floods are to the point that you can barely see the road in front of you doing 70 miles an hour. So, yeah. Um, was due to arrive here at quarter past five. No, quarter past four, and I got here just gone quarter past six. So a two hour delay and um, the diversion was just horrendous. Oh, has my eyelash come off as well? You know when you just feel like, I woke up, I had all good intentions, I thought I'd leave half 11, give me plenty of time, quarter past four, I can come out, have a drink, chill, wait for the cabin to be ready. It just didn't happen, did it? Didn't happen at all. So I will insert a little bit of footage from Sunday when I was packing because I say you're not going to driving footage, unfortunately. But yes, um, I've had a lot of comments and questions still. I'm going to clear it up. I'm here on my own. Um, Mama G had reasons she had to stay at home. And obviously we all know the situation with Brandon and his work. So yes, I'm here on my own. I... <laughs> I had all intentions today of, as I say, because I thought I was getting here on time. I really think my eyelash is coming off. It's just going to sum up the day if my eyelash just flies off, my lovelies. Um, I had all intentions of coming in, having a nice bath, going in the sauna, doing the hot tub. I am shattered. I've done like ooh, almost seven hours driving today. My feet are killing me literally killing me um i am going to unpack the shopping so you'll probably see me do that and i'll have a little rabbit on with you i don't quite know what the plans are for tonight my lovelies thank goodness that my dinner is quick and easy i've got to edit tomorrow's video that's leaving it a bit last minute and then tomorrow i was actually going to go to the lake district like the reserve but you know what, I think I just want to chill. I think I actually just want to chill and do nothing. So, I don't quite know what the plan is tonight. I know I need to eat. That's the main thing. Your girl needs to eat because she is starving. I've had nothing all day and I'm starving. Um, might just be a quick bath. Might just jump in the shower and try not to get my hair wet. Might leave the hot tub tonight. It all depends. It all depends. I need a drink. That is the most important thing. I don't think an alcoholic drink tonight. Oh, actually, yeah, because I won't be driving tomorrow if I don't go out. Who knows? I've just unpacked. I've just got my candles out. I'm going to light them in a minute. But, yeah, let's get the food out, get it in the fridge. And, yeah, I hope you enjoy the vlog. It's probably going to be a long one. Even though it's just me, we're still going to try and do bits and bobs. I want to try and book a distillery tour, hopefully. Go to a gin distillery. I want to go down to the restaurant and have some breakfast. Maybe tomorrow morning I might do that. And then I'm going to get, like, on the last night, maybe some kebabs and pizzas delivered to the lodge. Who knows? So, yes, Shannon Lee, pull yourself together, girl. I do apologise for my eyelash has been hanging off this whole way through. You know, we just feel it, and I can look at it and see it's a bit pointed. But I hope you enjoy the vlog. It is another log cabin, and I haven't even said I'm staying at Brayton Lodges at Wigton, Cumbria, in Aspartia, I think that's the area, and I'm staying in Lodge Darwin 6, Darwin 6 is my lodge, and as I say, you will see, what will you see in a moment, will you see me doing the food, no, I'll probably put in the little bit when I first enter, so you'll get like a layout of the cabin, and then yeah, then it'll be food, 
I'm delirious, I need a drink, don't I? <laughs> I hope you enjoy the video, my lovely. Goodness. Right. We walk in, we've got a lovely little mat, and then we've got this, like a big mosaic wall. We've got a little seating area, and first thing is first, your girl is cold, so the heating's going fully on. Right. What have we got here? Wow. Oh my god, and they got right, we've got double mirrors. Hello, this is me after a catastrophic journey, which I'm sure I will tell you about later. <gasps> Perfect, we've got some supplies. And then, da 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 da. Right, I love seeing what all these lights do. That's the bedroom light, okay, right. And then we walk through. Oh my God, I love this. Lovely big TV because I need to be getting some Netflix on. Oh my god, I've even got a wood burner. What's this say? Log packs are available at the lakeside. Oh, I can go and get them tomorrow. Oh, I've got my own log burner. Look at these, so chic. I'm going to be chilling on that chaise lounge. My little table. Oh, I love this kitchen. Oh my god! They've even left me a little pancake mix! Oh, what's these? Biscuits? Because I am starving. Bread. <gasps> we've got all the utensils. You know what I'm like? I like to see what we've got in there. Salt and vinegar. What's all these? Oh! Just empty cupboards. I'm assuming one of these is one of these a dishwasher? Oh, I love this top, my lovelies. Look at that. Oh, what's this? Right, there's my dishwasher. Here's the most important thing. Bottle cooler, yes please. And oh my God, what's all this? Right, fridge, cleaning. Oh, I've got a freezer as well. Oh, I've got some butter, milk, and some little bits here. Got the oven and the microwave. Oh, I have got a washing machine, but my lovelies, we all know I'm not going to be uh, doing much washing, am I? <gasps> and then, blah, 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 what have we got through here? Right, what is this? <gasps> is this the light? There's so many lights, I don't know what they're for. <laughs> oh, my. God, oh is this maybe, oh I don't think, is that for my spotlights, I don't, I'm so confused my lovelies, look at this bar, oh my god, and look, I've got my own sauna, <laughs> Oh my God, I'm going to be loving life in this later. And a nice big his and her sink for just me. Oh no, just me. Maybe it was something. Oh, let there be light. Oh my goodness. And then I'm assuming, because I'm trying to remember from the photos. Oh, we all know I'm useless with these doors. Oh, this is what Brandon's normally here for. 
because I don't know how to do the doors. Ah. Oh. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Shut up. Oh my god, do I have lights? Do we have lights? I don't know what all this. Oh! <gasps> Oh, no, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. My lovelies, these lights change. Oh! And then I come out to the outdoor bit. No way. Isn't it a lovely sky tonight? Right, we've got the moonlight, which is what we had at the last one. I've got like a seating arrangement here. We've got the moonlight. I've got a telly. I have a telly out here. And then this is the size of the hot tub. Oh my God, I can't wait to see what this is like. Oh! Right, that is huge. H to the U to the G E, huge. Oh my God. Oh, how nice is that if I just want the lights on and then if I want a bit of party. No. Oh my God, I love this. Ah! Right, let's turn all the lights off. Save the electricity. I'm just going to put that. If I put it up, oh, that's all fine because we all know I can't do it. Where is the bed? Oh! <gasps> That's what I'm talking. Oh my god! How am I supposed to jump up on that? No! Oh my god! Look at the size of this TV. Look at the size. Right, my lovelies. I don't quite know what to do with myself. I've got a little dressing table here. Oh my god! Right. I need to go. Oh look. They put two out, but it's just me. Brandon would have absolutely loved this. But it's just me. So, like, oh my God, that that TV. I mean, look at me compared to that TV. Ah! Right, I need to go and bring all the bags in and then let's unpack the food shop because there's not a lot of food because I don't plan on cooking that much. So, what's this? Oh, it's just all of that jazz. Oh my God, cannot wait. I'm gonna do dinner first because I'm absolutely starving and I need to eat first before I even think about editing and just whatever I'm gonna do. So I've got a quick and easy one tonight. I've just picked up a garlic and cheese flatbread. I just popped into the local spa down at Brandon Sisters because if I go to Tesco, we know that I end up like buying unnecessarily. And then I picked up some fresh chicken and pancetta tortellini. I thought a nice big bowl of pasta with a tomato and mascarpone sauce. So you're actually balanced on the wash little bucket and two saucepans. So I think I need to pop you on the tripod and figure out, oh no, that's the hob in it. Yeah, aye aye aye. And let's get this done because you girl needs food. I'm absolutely starving. And do I eat on the sofa or do I eat at the table? I normally always eat at the table, don't I? I think I best do because that could be quite messy. Can you imagine if I drop the sauce on the first night? Mm. Let's get some food cooking! <laughs> oh, well, that's great. I can't even open the thing. Where's the knife? Where's the knife? There we go. Now, it says this tortellini serves two. The garlic bread serves four. 
and the mascarpone sauce serve two. I'm not doing the recommended portion sizes now, my lovely. So, <clears throat> no, no, no. Oh, can you do it? Oh, yeah, you can do it on the whole. So, yes, uh, don't say to me, Shane, your portion size is a bit big. Your girl has not eaten all day, okay? Please don't squirt on the new track soup. Ooh. Oh, that smells delish. Gonna be mopping that up with the bread, let me tell you that. Yum, yum, yum. Gin and tonic in hand. Big Bang Theory on. What else is there for your girl to do, right? Eh? I just don't know how the salt comes out. I'm getting a lot of pepper, but no salt. Does it come out there? We'll just add pepper on it. So, the um, garlic bread... I kind of cremated just a tad, but I do like my garlic bread crispy, so it doesn't bother me. Oh, look at that slice just come off. So, this is the spa cheese and garlic flatbread. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. And then I've got tons of mascarpone sauce, so I might as well mop it up with my bread. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. This morning, my lovelies, I asked over on my Instagrams for your confessions. I want to try and do like a fun, juicy sit down video. So I said, the more outrageous, the better. I haven't yet looked to see if any have come in, but I think I might film that tomorrow, as I say. I had all intentions of going to the Lake District Natural Reserve Park. Wanted to get some miles in walking, but my legs are knackered. So I think what the plan will be tomorrow, go down for breakfast. I need to actually read what time breakfast starts and finishes. And then maybe pop to the farm shop because I need to pick something up for dinner tomorrow because that's just going to be like a quick and easy one. I need to book my gin distillery for Wednesday and then Thursday is when they deliver to the cabins. So yeah, I'm not planning on doing much cooking at all. And then perhaps tomorrow I might just have breakfast and then have like a nice self-care day. We'll do a bit of filming and then have a self-care day. I can read because I don't think I'm going to get a chance to read tonight. Read, do some bits of me planner. And just chill. And then Thursday is going to be a very chill day because I want to try and book a masseuse if available. I need to ask about that tomorrow as well. So, yeah, we shall uh, see how that is. I have got a form I need to complete, um, but I haven't got a pen. So I'm going to have to take that down to reception tomorrow and just be like, um, have you got a pen I could borrow, please? Because Dopey here. Oh, actually, no, I have got a pen. Shannon Lee, you've got three pens. You brought your planner, darling. I have got a plan. Plan, plan, plan. I have got a pen, I might do that later actually, but I just checked in with Mama G, she was like, did you get there alright? I was like, traffic was a nightmare, but now I'm having dinner, let's see what this is like. Oh, chicken and pancetta, I should have put some of the grated cheese over the top of this, but, oh yummy, 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 so I'm going to sit here, stuff my face my lovelies. You've seen me do that a million times before. And yeah, I need to edit tomorrow's video. 
that's what I need to do after dinner. So after I've done this, I'll probably just keep Big Bang on and do my editing because need to have an upload for tomorrow, don't we? Even though I'm away, I'm still going to be semi-working, still doing a bit of filming, editing, all of that jazz. So yes, chin chin. <laughs> So I've got the video editing. I'm just watching the end of the Rude Dirty Dancing. I've seen this on Instagram, but never watched it. It's not too bad actually, it's quite funny. I think after this, I'm gonna have a very, very quick shower. So I won't film that because it's not gonna be like the creme de la creme of the first bath in here. I think I'm just gonna have a quick shower, get my PJs on and then we can settle in bed because I want to jump on that bed and I want to do the test of it because that bed is like Princess and the Pea. I said to mum, it is so high, I think I need a ladder to get on it. So I'm going to do my best to try and jump on it and that can be fun. And then I think at 10, this is like a regular program that I always put on when we're at the log cabin and Brandon's like, nope, turn it off. Let me know if you love it. I think it's hilarious. Uh, naked attraction. We've all got bodies. It's good to see different types of bodies, and yeah, I'm all for that. I love a bit of naked attraction, but Brandon doesn't really like it, so I'm taking full advantage that I can actually watch it tonight. So the video is exporting, and my goodness, the internet here must be fab, because it's been uploading for, what, 10 minutes, and it's 70% done. I must admit, though, it is only like a 10-minute video, but... It is quick, so I think, I just looked, tomorrow I can't go for my breakfast, which saddens me, because the restaurant is actually Wednesday to Saturday here on the complex, so it's kind of thrown me off a bit. I think what I'm going to do tomorrow morning, have a walk down to the farm shop, try and find something for dinner, book in my masseuse if I can, and then... I'm thinking, depending what time I get back here, the gin distillery tours go on until 4 o'clock and it's only 20 minutes away. So I'm thinking tomorrow, but then I don't know. It all It's all to do with my breakfast, right? I don't want to be doing stuff after a heavy breakfast. So it's either that, tomorrow I go to the farm shop and then come back and possibly do the distillery and then Wednesday I could have my breakfast and then possibly go shopping and then Thursday it would be the masseuse and food delivered to the cabin I'm not entirely sure I need to do some filming tomorrow that's the main thing but I'm going to try and have a lay-in. My alarms are still set for 6 o'clock, even though I'm not at work. So I might sleep until about 8, because the farm shop don't open until half 9. So if I get down for half 9, I can fill in my passenger, not a passenger locator form, but it's kind of like that. I can fill in that, go farm shop at half 9, see what the weather's like, potentially go to the gin distillery tomorrow, and then come back, I'll already have dinner from the farm shop, then we can have like a nice pamper, do a bit of filming, chill out. And then, if the internet's so good, I potentially try and edit tomorrow. And then I think I might actually do, I'm looking at my content, my lovelies, and 
I've got reading your confessions. That's the one that I need your help with. That's the one that I want to try and film tomorrow or Wednesday if I can. And then I've got my spring skincare routine. So I have actually got all of my skincare bits. And I'm thinking, do I take full advantage of the bathroom? I'm thinking I might do that. And then there is a spring morning routine, but I think that's a bit far-fetched if I do my spring morning routine here because obviously this isn't a regular morning. Oh, I need to go down and get me a uh, wood for me wood burner. That is reminding me, just looking at that. So when I go to the farm shop, I need to have my wood burner. And you're probably thinking, what are you twiddling? I've got my blankie. If you remember my Vogue questions, it was like, what is the biggest secret? And I said, I have a blankie. This is my blankie, very disheveled, almost 27 years old, more holes than actual like bits of cotton and material, but this was on my lap the whole ride through. It's like my safety blanket, my comfort blanket, and yeah, I have a thing, mum gets really annoyed because I can literally just sit here and I will just fiddle with it, and I don't know why, I think it's just like a childhood thing or I don't know if it's an anxious thing, whatever it is. So yes, I don't quite know what I'm going to do tomorrow, to be perfectly honest now. I just called mum and told her. She was like, are you finding it? I was like, it's fine. I was like, I've had dinner, which was delicious. I was like, I'm just about to edit. She was like, does it feel weird being on your own? I was like, kind of. I said, because normally, like, Brandon's obviously here at the log cabins with us. I said, like, especially that bed is huge and high. I'm going to feel, like, so out of place of it on my own tonight. But, hey-ho, life is for living, my lovelies. And we're all about being independent and girl power and all of that jazz so we're gonna live our best life and deal with it the best we can i am almost at the end of my g and t and then i think i might have a glass of water before bed because i'm quite dehydrated mum said to me are you going in the hot tub tonight i was like i don't think so i was like i think i'm like i'm knackered i was like i'm gonna have a quick shower and then jump into bed and i cannot wait to get the robes on why do i want to put the robes on Probably not, because the robes are more for, like, dossing. Like, if I'm getting in bed, I'm going to be in my gym jams. So, yeah, I'm going to wait for this to edit, because there's not much left of it now. And then have a quick shower, and we will be in bed in time for Naked Attraction. <laughs> right. Sorry, I look a little bit crazy. The time has come for the most exciting part. Should we spin you around? And we've got to give the bed test, okay? Let's put the light on because you're probably not going to be able to see, are ya? Let there be light. Right. On your marks. Get set. Go! <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool! And I hit my knee. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Have I got an ambient lighting? I don't know what's going on with the light, but oh my god. This bed is huge. Ah. Let's have a look. It's time for naked attraction. Let's have a look. No, I don't want E4 plus one. Where is E4? E4, E4, there we go. Oh my god, my lovelies. I feel like I'm on top of the Look how small I look. I literally look <laughs> so small, don't I? Hi! I think this is where I want to do my confessions video. <gasps> right, so let's pop down. My god, look at that. Honestly, this is like a ledge and then we've got the bed and my red tracksuit has like defluffed everywhere oopsie so yes um i'm gonna get comfy now for naked attraction have some refreshments and then we might call it a night i'm just loving this bed i can't get over it let's dim the lights let's uh show it like that that's better and then I want to run from the other side. This is how childish I am, okay? Let's hope I don't scrap my knee. Do you know? Let's watch Naked Attraction. <laughs> so, it is a little later. 
I'm gonna go to sleep now. Um, it feels so weird. I've got like this whole bed to move out in. I mean, it's just, it's huge. I've got the fan on though, because I'm quite hot. I don't know why, I do feel quite hot. So I've got the fan on. <sighs> I've set my alarm for seven, not quite eight. Because if I want to go out tomorrow, I need to like be up an hour early because the farm shop opens at 9.30. So yes, um, I'm going to hit the sack now. My leg, my God, my right leg. I've never experienced pain like it in a while. I think it's almost seven hours hovering. Actually, that was hovering over the accelerator. My left one was like down on the clutch half the time, so that doesn't hurt as much because it was pretty much down. And then I realized I had to start stop, so I just kept taking it out of gear. But naked attraction was funny, funny as always. But yes, I'm gonna go to sleep now. And how do we turn the lights off? That's the thing. We're gonna go to sleep in three, two, one. And yes, please excuse the way I look. First thing in the morning is, especially with this new dark hair, I am having to adjust because dark to light, I'm still not a, still not got round to it. I normally do like my little morning montages, don't I, in the log cabin, like where I come and I open the uh, blinds. But I don't know if I'm being silly. I don't think these blinds close. I mean, they haven't got a little pulley thing. So I don't think they do. So we haven't got that, I'm afraid, to do. The sun is blinding through here, even though when you look out, all the fields are crisp, there's a bit of frost. When I went out just a minute ago, chucked on my DMs, went and tried to take a few photos, and my feet literally, like, sank in the grass. And then when I looked, it was just, like, sludgy. I was like, oh. So I don't quite know still what my plan for this morning is. I don't know whether to go to the farm shop today or tomorrow or if I go to the distillery today do I then want to eat out I'm still undecided all I know that I'm hungry so first thing is first now do I have a vanilla latte or do I have a cup of tea I think it might have to be a tea I've got a bit of my peach hibiscus left so i'm gonna pop that in the glass and then we're gonna have pancakes for breakfast pancakes for breakfast and pancakes for dessert i'm happy <laughs> Pronto ya yo no sé a mi realidad No sé si es amor es que Quiero estar solo La soledad me hace preso La condenación tus besos No sé si es amor es que No quiero estar solo A veces la paso un hombre No es tu culpa un sol No estamos envueltos en un juego de dos Quiero estar a los a veces no, de pronto son cosas del destino O mejoramos con el tiempo como el vino Súbeme la nota, que no se me nota Yo no estaba ready y fui un idiota Que hay mucha brisa, se acabó la risa Ya empezamos el gota, gota Toma la actitud So I'm catching up on Trevor Sorry about the croaky morning voice 
I'm catching up on Trev and Charles because he's actually put up the Maldive private tour and also the proposal. Now, I know this is all lovely and, oh, this sunlight, a little bit of a glare. This is beautiful countryside to look at. But it just makes me want a holiday even more. They're in the Maldives and I'm just like, <laughs> I just want to be abroad. But... I am thankful that I'm here. It is a lovely morning. The car is slowly starting to uh, defrost by itself because I parked it so that it just so happens that the sun is on it. So the back is completely frosted. So I'm going to get a bit of old de ice on that. But the front is melting away slowly. And it's so quiet. Like I know it's only, what's the time? It's 8 o'clock. So most people ain't going to be up and about, are they? But it's just so lovely and quiet. And these are so spread out. It reminds me of the last log cabin we went to. So we've been to a few before where like, where you have the space between these two, you'd have like another one in the middle and you'll hear like people walking about and all that, but there's literally nothing. It's silencio. So yes, these are M&S lemon pancakes. I know the vlog will probably be going up after, but let me know what pancakes you had and hopefully I can get some more of these when I go back. It's M&S lemon fluffy pancakes and they've got like lemon curd and lemon zest in them. And then I put extra lemon juice and loads of sugar, so. Extra lemony. <laughs> Right, my lovelies, I have brushed my teeth, and I think today, because the farm shop is open until 5.30, so I think what I'm going to do is get ready, because it is a lovely day, and you know what, they said to me at work, take your sunglasses with you, because obviously your girl is blind as a bat, so I have to have like my lens sunglasses and obviously when I left I was like Pfft. it's like torrential rain and that I'm not gonna be needing them it is blinding okay it is blinding and all I've got I ain't even got a cap all I've got is my little woolly bear hat so I can't buy sunglasses because I can't see nothing out of them so I might actually buy a cap I'm thinking today to go into Carlisle do a little bit of shopping and then I might potentially pop in the farm shop on the way back because the farm shop's open until 5.30. So I could pop in the farm shop on the way back, get sank for dinner, and then tomorrow... What do I want to do tomorrow? Tomorrow, I think I might still do the gin distillery tour. I'm going to fill in my little form and pop that into reception before I go out because I need to ask about the masseuse. I want to book a massage. Probably book that for... Thursday, see what time they go to, and then if I do the gin distillery tour tomorrow, I can either have my breakfast tomorrow or Thursday. Like, do I really want to be having a massage after I've eaten a Viking breakfast? Because that's what your girls iron up, all right? So, yes, not entirely sure. I have made a mess now with my little station. Let me just show you what we're working with here, okay? I've got all my bits and bobs laid out, so that's going to be just there. Trying to like keep it as tidy as I go. I was going to do it in the bathroom, but then I thought, no point, the mirror's too far away. I'm not going to be able to see anything. I'm going to be blind as a bat. So you might just go with it here. The only thing I am noticing, my lovelies, I might have a look when I'm out today. My foundation, now as we all know, my foundation is always just a tad darker because I am pale central, ain't I? I'm like Casper the Ghost. But now... I've got the dark hair, I kind of need to maybe like colour match it a bit better because I do feel even more like Casper with the dark hair now at the top. So yeah, I might actually, when I'm out at Carlisle, I think there's a Boots and a Super Drug. Might have a look out there, see if I can get like a new shade of foundation because I do try and like drag it down my neck and everything like that. Obviously I have to be careful of my trag. Careful of my trag piercing, but... Yeah, I've just got, I'm just pale, okay? Don't come for me in the comments. Your girl was just pale, so I don't really want a pale, pale foundation, but maybe, can I get 
a shade up from this? I mean, probably not, because this is 103 True Ivory. What's the next one going to be? 102 Casper. 101 Ice. Like, literally nothing. So, yeah, I think if I can just blend it out, put loads of um, powder on it, your girl should be all right. I've also bought my eyebrow tinting kit, because I want to sort my eyebrows out while I'm here. So I think we'll have like a little pamper day. Maybe when I come back, I don't know. I'm going to have a look on my Instagram because I did ask last night for your wild, wacky, just any confessions really. Because I want to do like a little sit down video in that bed. Because obviously the bed is huge and your girl looks tiny on it. So I thought, you know what? That would be great. If I'd have come say like the week earlier, I would have done my sit down with Shan on there. Like, can you imagine how cute that would have been? Cute? Well, yeah, because I would have been cosy. So I want to do like that type of video, getting me dressing gown. <sighs> oh my God, it's baking in here. I've just turned the heating off. It is like a sauna. I don't even know all of these windows. They've got like two latches. I don't actually know if I can open them. I don't know if I can, but it is lovely uh, sunshine. I'll show you the little view that I've got out of my window. Can you see? You might not be able to see much. Oh, it just went dark, so you probably didn't see anything, did you? <laughs> yeah, it's lovely and sunny now. All of the car is defrosted, which is great, because I was thinking, have I got any de-icer? I couldn't remember if I'd bought any de-icer in the car, and luckily it's all melted off. So, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. I think we're going to pop into Carlisle. I probably won't take my camera into Carlisle, because... I don't know, I don't know the area. I'm going to take my little um, Doc Martin camera bag. You remember the one I had for the last log cabin? I got it in Ashford in the south, the outlet. Absolutely love it. I have bought my big backpack that you would have seen in the February favourites, but I think that's a bit too big. Like, I don't need to be taking all of my stuff with me, so I think I'll probably just take the um, Doc Martin bag. And then, oh! This was an absolute lifesaver. I forgot I had a little mini Fix Plus. Perfect, instead of bringing the big one. Oh, that's lovely and refreshing. I did have the fan on. <laughs> I had the fan on all night last night, didn't I? Normally, I wake up with a really, like, horse throat. It weren't actually too bad, you know. It weren't too bad at all. Don't quite know what I'm going to do with Barnet. Because my curls have kind of like washed out, well not washed out, they've kind of come out from when Carly done it, so I'm not entirely sure. I've got my little skincare bundle here, because as I say, I do want to do a skincare video, because I might as well make the most of it while we've got the fab lighting, eh? But yes, I'm going to stop a rabbit in, because I need to put my lashes on, and I'm probably going to have to go into the bathroom for that, so... We'll do a little transition, shall we? We'll go back in this spot once I'm done. In three, two, one. Voila! Right. The wind is picking up a little bit out there, so I don't really want my hair loose because it's a mess at the moment. I need to... I've brushed out the curl, which is probably the worst thing you could do because then it goes static. So, yeah, I'm just going to put it in a little side bun because it's out of the way and... I mean, it's as good as we're going to get it for the moment, ain't it, my lovely? So let me just actually put some clothes on, because can't be going out in my beauty in the beast pyjamas, can I? And then, what's the time now? 10 o'clock. Should be on the road for about 11-ish, let's say. Hopefully. <laughs> Ta-da! I uh, kept the day, my lovelies, because even though it looks sunny, I've just popped out there, and it's cold. It is very, very cold. So my idea of bringing a crop jumper really ain't the best one so i have just got my good old urban outfit as harrington with a very very old long sleeve hype jumper good old primark jeans and high top converse because i thought you know what it's about time i get them out make a change i can't find my arm oh this is a conundrum in it there we go and then good old trusty jock martin bag so we are pretty much Good to go. As I say, I'm going to head into Carlisle, do a little bit of shopping, and then the farm shop and reception don't shut until half five. So, I can come back, because I'm not going to be out shopping until half five. What's the time now? I'm ahead of schedule. It is half ten. 
So I should be back for about three-ish, and then I can go down to the farm shop, give you my form, book in my massage. Then once the massage is booked, then I can book the distillery tour. But yeah, the next probable few bits that you'll see on the vlog will be through the phone, okay? So yes, I am good to go. <laughs> Si no te ofrezco nada, solo recibo y no te puedo dar lo que tú quieras, baby. La verás, aunque bebé, yo te llené de Dios. No se arregla esta relación. Lo que yo puedo es pedir perdón, porque no siento lo que sientes vos. Toma la actitud que yo tengo hacia ti. Yo me pongo inseguro cuando. Interesante, solo interesadas a quien desvestir. No sé si es amor o es que. You literally could not write this. So. I burnt my hand because of the nail glue, right? And then I'm sitting booking my massage on the phone and I just hear smash. And I'm like, what the hell has smashed? I turn around and the nail varnish bottle that I bought, I'm doing it over this because I'm not happy. Literally, can you see that? Crack exploded on the white marble top so I've just been scrubbing 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 it's come out luckily but what on earth is going on I must be cursed I must be cursed I shouldn't have come on this should I literally within the space of like 10 minutes I have third degree burned my hand now got glue all the way over it and the nail varnish that I bought that I wanted to do my hands and toes with has just exploded. So I, I don't think this is meant to be. I really don't think this is meant to be. Um, I've got my massage booked Thursday at 12 o'clock. So that's all good to go. So I think tomorrow I'm going to go down for my breakfast. Probably like half nine, ten-ish. And then I might book the distillery tour for back three-ish. That gives us chance. And then Thursday will actually be... A relaxing day it is so so nice out there my lovelies like honestly so nice i am gonna kind of have a bit of a meltdown before i go out because you know when you just think like come on like what else can go wrong like literally my hand is covered in glue now which is great i've been scrubbing the surface because obviously I don't want to be charged and then I'm sitting there booking my massage and I hear smash and I think oh great like something fell off in the bathroom or something and I turn around and I just thought good job I noticed that and I heard it because can you imagine if that was on there any longer I mean I've scrubbed and scrubbed and it's come off quickly but of all the colours it's like a deep brand so it's not gonna not show up on a white marble toy you know I just think like is the universe trying to tell me something like should I just go home? Should I just not be here? But yes, so I'm going to uh, calm down, give myself about like five or ten minutes to just chill, go down to this farm shop and then see what happens, see what I pick up at this farm shop because the farm shop that I went to, I did get bits for dinner but I spent £70 and I've literally got chutneys and stuff so oopsie i need to um, be a bit more refrained in this one but yeah so that's great apologies me love handles aren't me lovelies but yeah you know you just think like 
What is happening? So I don't even think I'm gonna be able to salvage that nail varnish. I mean, it is cracked to oblivion, so absolutely not. But yeah, I just over and out, and I'll see you when hopefully I've got some food and I'm gonna be a bit happier. <laughs> Right, so, first thing is first, I've poured a G&T because I'm not going to be driving anywhere else today, so I'm in the cabin. The doors are wide open. Oh, just what I needed after like the past hour. Doors are wide open. I think I might take one of the dining chairs and sit out on the front because it's actually really nice weather. I might start my book. I think I might do that. I was going to go out and sit the hot tub back in. There's a nice breeze on the front bit, so I think I might do that because it's only, what is the time? It's only three o'clock, but your girl is peckish. So if you would have seen an overview there, I um, got a little distracted, didn't I? So let's start with what I've just got from our little farm shop, well, our, the one on site, okay? I didn't really know what I wanted. I go in and when it's like a farm shop and there's fresh meat and veg and every like, chutney marmalade everything you can think of i do get very overwhelmed like there was pies there ready-made pies then there was like stir fry mixes and it did get a little bit mind-boggling because i wanted all of it it all looked lovely but i picked up a couple of things from there got a bit more fresh so what i did pick up were two limes because i thought i could chuck it in my gin and maybe use it for a bit of cooking these i'm very excited i won't be eating these until i get home with mama g but they are by the brand De Forti Sicilian Cannelloni Lemon. They're pastry shells filled with lemon flavoured cream dusted with icing sugar. Oh my god, they look absolutely divine. So, as I say, I won't touch them. That's for me and Mama G. I picked up six eggs for 99p because I didn't get any eggs, silly me. Picked up some tortilla wraps because some of the bits that I've got. I thought I could perhaps put in a wrap for like a snack or something. And then, can you believe, right? You know when you go to Tesco and you get a cabbage, you get like them little white cabbages that are like 70, 80p, aren't they? This is probably bigger than my head. And it weighs a ton. So I got a huge cabbage, right? pound twenty. £1.20, so I might actually stop off there on Thursday before I go back and get some veg because, I mean, why not? That is the only veg I've got, I'm not going to lie, but I could uh, I could try and wangle it around. What I picked up, like, dinner snack-wise, I picked up a Turkish Delight. Now, this is a puff pastry with a lamb kofta and in the centre is garlic sauce. Now we all know your girl loves garlic. So I saw that and I was like, mm, that is going in. And then I also picked up a garlic and chicken parmo. So it's just garlic, chicken and cheese to be practically perfectly, practically, practically perfect in every way. Yes, it is. If it's tasty in my belly. So that was all I got from my little one. As I say, I just walked down there. And then I did get carried away in the one, what was it called? Cranston's Butchers, but it was in... Alton Grange or Alton Hill. Now, I did get very carried away there. Um, you would have seen in the overview, I have quite a selection of chutneys because that is my downfall. But let's get on with the food. These I picked up, there's two pounds 70. So you do pay more from a farm shop, I'm not gonna lie, but they look very, very nice. And it's just two sausage rolls, specially seasoned local pork filling in a flaky puff pastry. So I might actually have one of these while I'm reading a book or just for four, potentially. And then that meat can, oh, oh my God, I was just like, give it all to me, okay? So I've got a garlic and herb Cumberland twist. This was 195. You'll see more when I cook it. And then I've got a Greek beef king kebab. And it's basically a giant skewer with I think like six big beef meatballs. Oh my God. Now I thought I could cook this and put it in the wrap because I've got some hummus and I've got cucumber. So I thought I could maybe make, I haven't got tzatziki though. Hmm, I could use hummus though. So I thought I could do like a wrap with that for lunch perhaps. 
And then I picked up this. It's called a sausage and bacon melt. But it's like, it's a giant Cumberland sausage wrapped in bacon. But it's in some form of coating. I don't know if it's a barbecue coating, a spicy coating. I hope it ain't spicy. Your girl really hopes it, it ain't spicy. So, because the thing is, now I've got my massage booked in Thursday at 12. I think I'm going to go and have the breakfast Thursday. Because then I'm going to be filled with food. Oh my god, there's a cow. It's actually backing on to an actual farm, my lovelies. The amount of sheep I've seen driving down here. Oh... I get so sidetracked by animals, but yeah, um, the thing I'm thinking is tomorrow, obviously, the gin distillery tour, and then, oh, but do I want my breakfast beforehand? Right, I'm contemplating, depending on what time I wake up, I might have my breakfast tomorrow, book a tour about two or three-ish, and then come back, if I don't eat out, I'm sure I've got plenty for dinner here, but am I going to be greedy and have all of this for dinner? I don't know. I don't know. That is the perfect answer. And then Thursday, as I say, the massage is booked. So actually, yeah. Thursday, I'll have the breakfast. Last day, round it out with a bang. Thursday, I'll have the breakfast. Then I'll have the massage. And then I'll get room service. And then tomorrow, I won't... I might make myself some brekkie. Then I'll do like a two or a three o'clock tour, which I need to book. I need to book the distillery tour, Shannon Lee. And then when I come back, if I don't eat, uh, have something here. It's going to be really greedy if I have all of this in one go, ain't it? But I'm, I'm on holiday. Why can I not have it in one go? Who knows? We're going to see where it goes. But the main things that I got, obviously, from the other farm shop was chutneys galore so let me move you over and we can get in depth because i got two four six eight i've got like over 10 jars r.i.p to my bank account <laughs> Right, so you would have already seen the pan over. Um, yeah, not overly priced. Some of the things were, I'm not going to lie, like some of the things, I think I haven't even got the receipt on us, but the chutneys were two for five. So I got four. I got two for me and Mama Jean. I got two for Dada. I picked up Mum two lemon curds. They were three pound and four pound. I got a Cumberland rum butter. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it, but it sounded nice. I got three lots of honey mustard, one for Dada, two for us. Then I got some sweets, crackers, oils, and of course some ciders. So, right, where do I even start? Tomato and basil seeded flat ribs. I picked these up, as I say, because I've got some hummus. Thought they could go with them. And to be honest, they're actually quite nice just to munch on their own. I picked these up from Mama G. Six coconut jam rings. We've had these many a time from garden centres. And she absolutely loves them. So I thought, why not? Now, as soon as you walked in, they had a huge Easter confectionery stand. Oh, my God. I could have bought it all. But when I saw a bag of mini eggs for £3.50, I thought not. So these were £2.75 and they're by Cookalicious & Co. Lovingly baked in Yorkshire. But oh my God, look. They're little chicken, little bunny cookies. I know they're probably, they are expensive, £2.75 for like five. But I couldn't not get them. And I think when I get back, me and Mama G will be doing like our 24 hours eating Easter food. So, of course, they're going to be in there. Right. When I went there, they had all of their booze and they had the Lakes Gin. Well, obviously, if I'm going to the distillery, I would like to purchase it at the distillery. You know, like more for a memento. So, I didn't get any of that. But I picked this up for, I think this was 4 75 And it's Lakeland Herbaceous Strawberry Gin Liqueur. Don't know if I'm going to have that one evening or when I get home. I'm not entirely sure. But I saw that and I quite like it. 
And then we all know that, I keep chopping my head off. Sorry you're so far back, my love. This is the only way that I could get it all in, you know. I love garlic and herb oil. Garlic oil is a thing that we get every single time we go away. And I normally pick Dada up one. So for me and Mama G, I've got a garlic and herb oil. It says for wedges, pasta, garlic bread. And then for Dada, I picked up a spicy stir fry oil, ginger, chili and garlic. And I think these were £3.50. So that's quite standard for garden centres on the oils. I did, however, love the cider selection. I was a bit sad that it weren't made here, like in the lakes. It's made in Somerset. But I think that's where the majority of ciders are made, to be honest. So these were £3 each or two for a fiver. So I've got two for me and Mama G and two for Dada. The two for Dada I got is by a brand Lilies. And I got Dada the rhubarb cider and the apple and blackberry cider. And then for me and Mama G, I picked up tropical and mango. So I was thinking of cracking one of them open now, but I think we'll have half and half and then Mum can have some as well. And as I say, always have to get us some lemon curd. So I picked her up. Mrs. Darlington's Legendary Lemon Curd. We've got this in a mustard that we picked up from the last log cabin. And then this is Cumbrian Delights Lemon Curd. Mama G is a lemon curd addict. Absolute addict. So wherever I go, if there's always like little homemade ones, I like to pick her up and then like, she almost does like a taste test. Like she'll say, I like that one. And then half the time she likes the ones that you can't even get online. So more than likely, she's probably going to like these ones, isn't she? And then when it comes to chutneys and everything like that, for Dada, now what ones did I get him? Oops. Ah, I got him these two. So these are Claire's Handmade. So I got him a Cumberland chutney with ale and a, what's this one? Cumberland sauce with a ruby pulp. And they say they are perfect with sausages. So he always has sausages in the freezer or whatever, so I thought he can have them. And then for me and Mama G, I got a Lakeland, Lakeland? Yeah, Lakeland Flying House Chutney. That's to go with sausages and a red onion marmalade. Because we all know I like my crackers and cheese and marmalade. I have to have marmalade. With it. I also got this rum butter, Cumberland rum butter. I have no idea. It says fantastic on puddings, desserts or ice cream. Not going to lie, I just saw it said rum and I was like, get in the little basket. I should have got a trolley. But I think if I'd got a trolley, I really would have gone up overboard. Because when you walked into this one, Alton Grange, Alton Hall, oh my God, they had a huge garlic and herb spatchcock chicken for like £8. They had the boxes of chicken breast, they had fish, they had freezer section, they had pies, they had mince. And I was just like, huh? Thank goodness, actually, I only did have a little wicker basket. And then I picked up Cumberland Honey Mash three ways. So I picked up an original. This was two ninety five. dollars Then I picked up a horseradish version for Dada. And then I picked up a garlic version for me and Mama G. So, yes, um, I am well and truly stocked up and so is Dada. But I'm getting hungry. So I think I'm going to pop these away or do I just leave them out? I'm going to put them away because otherwise it's all just going to be building up, ain't it? And then try and figure out what I'm going to have for lunch. Because, say, it's gone three o'clock now. I'm getting hungry. I want to read my book. I don't know whether to... Do I do the big king kebab or do I just have a sausage roll? I'm not entirely sure yet, my lovelies. Hey, hey, we shall see. <laughs> when we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Sausage roll. Let's see what these are about for 135 per sausage roll, shall we? Oh, 
less wedge in here. Apologies if you see the old ballet. So yes, 270 for two. So I'm really hoping that they're nice. Bottoms up. Good crispy pastry. Mmm. Really nice flavour sausage meat as well. Mmm. Just put me throw over just in case I drop anything. And I'm gonna try and book the distillery tour. Oh my god, I'm forgetting my password. I just absolutely love it. So, I wish I had kept some of that tomato mascarpone sauce yesterday, but I didn't because I'm greedy. So, what I think we're going to do is the garlic and chicken parmo. I might, I really want to do like mashed potato. Have I got a masher? Because I've got loads of butter. Have I got a masher? Yes, I've got a masher. And then, you're probably going to think I'm really weird. I want to do stir-fried cabbage and bacon. You might think Shanna is, well, it sounds disgusting. It's not. It's just going to be like stir-fried cabbage with bacon. Getting a bit of meat, getting a bit of veg. I don't have a sauce though. And I don't quite know if there's anything I can make up. I don't think so. I'm hoping that the chicken will have like a little bit of sauce in it. I'm going to put loads of mash in my butter and then I might put a bit of butter throughout the bacon and cabbage. Because I've got loads of butter here. So, might as well use it. But yes, the chicken, parmesan, garlic and chicken parmo. How? You didn't actually tell me how long you cook it. I'm guessing it's like half an hour. Do you cook it? In the foil, I don't think so. There's a big skewer for it. That's great. Let's take this out. Oh my god, it smells delicious. Mmm. -mm. I should have had the parmesan. Not parmesan, tomato mascarpone sauce. Oh, there's two people walking past. <laughs> there are probably a lot of people down the further front lodges. They're like, I'm walking up here because I thought it was all open, but it's not. When you get to the end part, that's just like a dead end. I think it's another car park space for this lodge. And then it's just fields. And <laughs> they're just like turning around, realising there's nowhere to go. And then just seeing a girl with a camera in a towel cooking. I mean, mm -mm -mm. so this is the garlic chicken parmo. Look at that. So that can go in the oven. I haven't got any garlic bread, have I? Because I was a little gannet last night and had everything. But let's do a little time lapse of, well, I'm not going to peel the potatoes and we're just going to hack at the can. Things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it.
plane. You go need a refill. So, what are we going to go for? Gordons or green oils? Let's go good old Gordons. The chicken is in. The potatoes are almost done. The bacon and the cabbage is going. You know what? Because it's quite a big glass, I think I'm going to put that one in with it. I'm going to be having a good dinner, so it'll soak it up before I need to drive tomorrow, won't it? So have a look. We've got two of them. Lovely pink colour. Pop them in the rubbish. I think I love it with. Oh, great. What am I broke now? No idea, we can just go back in there. I'm just gonna have it with some lemonade. The time now is, I think, is it six o'clock? Quarter past six. So, I'm hoping dinner will be ready for about half six-ish. Then I can sit down, watch a bit of TV, let my dinner go down, and then I'll probably go in the hot tub about eight-ish maybe. Have about half hour, 40 minutes in there. I've just opened the door again because it's getting quite hot. Have about half hour, 40 minutes in there. Come out, jump in the shower, and then I've got all these snacks still, haven't I? I might um, try taking some snacks tonight, watching some TV. And then tomorrow, I want to try the sauna. So that what is why I think I put the Distiller it like 11, then I'll be up by like 2 ish. I can get my filming done, I can go to the sauna, I can love life, I can read more of my book. Oh, that's strong. Ah! And that is my uh, alarm to tell me my chicken's ready. been on the phone for like an hour so <laughs> plans of getting in the hot tub at eight delayed to about half eight and it is now about half nine i've had probably i say about 45 minutes soak in there i only filmed a little snippet because not gonna lie it was so dark out there and the wind started to pick up a little bit and i did feel a bit like oh don't really know if anyone's out there obviously no one is out there but you know you know the girls mentality so i think tomorrow i'm gonna go in before dinner and then have it that way so might not be nice like you won't see the lights and all that but i'll probably feel a little bit more easy and you probably would have thought shane you only flipped half of it back i weren't even attempting to flip that whole thing back that is normally what brandon helps me with and after the day i've had burning my hands and breaking my nails i just didn't really want to test it anymore so i had a quick shower very very hard when the shower head is almost as big as the shower trying to like be out and not get the hair in you know skin might look how does the skin look 
looks a little bit red and flustered i've just done my skincare routine which i think i will film for you tomorrow along with the confessions i'm gonna have a look on instagram tonight and screenshot them all so it's ready to go i don't quite know how i'm gonna film tomorrow whether i'm gonna do the confessions as like a full face or a not full face not entirely sure but let's say it's just gone half nine just put my phone on to charge i am drinking oh <coughs> water because being in the hot tub after a good few g and t's i felt very very dehydrated so yes my lovelies this is going to be me for the rest of the night i might put the camera back on if i decide to go and get some snacks but that dinner really did fill me up but I probably will end up getting snacks, won't I? Who knows? You might see us later on, my lovelies. Or if not, I shall see you in the morning. And hopefully I look better than this. I need to be up early because we've got the gin distillery. I need to try and sort my hair out as well. So, yes. See you when I see you, eh? My alarm went at seven. I think it's about half seven now. I had like my half hour on TikTok looking through the news and the sun is just rising. It's over that size today for some reason. Looks a bit chillier out there. It's not frosty, but it's cold. I opened the uh, back door just to look out at the hot tub and it was freezing. So I think I am going to, oh look, my nail polish is still in there. Great. I need to do the task of unloading the dishwasher and then I think I'm going to do myself a cup of tea and then we need to sort the barn it out. I want to maybe mermaid wave it or mermaid wave it and then we can slowly start to get ready for the day. But yeah, um, dishwasher task now. <laughs> I go to my cup of tea, which is probably still boiling hot, but lovely. I think I'll only have one because I don't want to be going around the tour and keep needing a wee wee. So I think we're going to mermaid wave the hair. We need to get rid of like the last few bits of curls because it's just going static now and I can't do anything with it. So let's see how how it goes being mermaid waved over curls because it is just purely static at the moment first thing is first this is the only thing with dark hair my hair gets very greasy regardless of what color it is when it's dark it shows up a lot more so we're going to leave that to do its thing i'm going to go in with some of me vo5 cannon there we go vo5 heat protect because it's so just let it done i don't really want to be damaging it already you know oh pop that there oh i sprayed a bit on my glasses that's fabulous ain't it so yes, it is, what's the time now? Eight o'clock. I want to leave here by about quarter past ten because it says it takes 20 minutes to get there. So about quarter past ten. I'd rather be early because then you can just like wait in the car park, can't you? But yes, let's um get my phone set up. I've got loads of YouTube to catch up on my lovelies. I have got a few things on like Netflix that I wanted to watch, but... You know what, I actually haven't watched anything on Netflix, have I? All them little series, and I'm just like, no, nope. having no time. So 
It would help if I even actually had it turned on, you know? chilly out there today i was gonna put my parker on but it's not that that cold and also because with the parker it would ruin the hair and i spent an hour curling this thing so i'm not gonna let it go okay i am however going to be taking you would have seen this in the february favorites my big fiorelli backpack i am going to be that person to just one strap it let's just say i'm going to put my ipad in there as i say because i want to go and maybe have a bite to eat so i can set up my ipad i've got my um headphones in so i can just watch something while i'm sitting there chilling but yes the outfit of the day is harrington again i have got my green roll neck you know the one with the frill from asda that i got in a haul while back and then i've put my doc martens on because i don't quite know if it's going to be all inside or there's a bit outside, I think. I'm not entirely sure. The time now is 5 to 10. So I've got about 20 minutes to chill. So I'm just going to tidy up all the mess from where I was getting ready. And then maybe just sit down, chill for 5 to 10 minutes. And then we can get in the car and en route. So next time you'll see me, we'll be at the distillery. I don't know. I will take my camera, but I don't know if I will be actively getting the camera out or whether it's going to be like on the phone so i'm not too sure which footage we'll see next but yeah let's see where the day takes us and then i want to come back film that's the most important thing film edit probably then go in the hot tub and then have dinner like later tonight because if i'm going to eat at that's probably going to be like 12 ish i might be hungry till like six or seven so i can have a hot tub have a bit of a read and yeah we're just going to chill so wednesday off we go. <laughs> right. Please don't think I'm driving. You can still see the cabin next to me. I've literally just walked from the cabin to the car and been blown amiss. Like, oh, let's move it. We've got the uh, phone holder. Oh, now you can't see me. I need a proper, like, car tripod. So, yes, um, it is very, very gusty. I've put in my umbrella because it's not spitting, but there's water on the car. So I don't know if the majority of it is inside, outside. I'm not entirely sure yet. So I have also bought a hat. My good old trusted hat because, as I say, it is very gusty. And I know I've curled my hair. And trust me to curl my hair on the day when it is a blow in a gale. So that's absolutely fabulous. I just want to see... Right, the nearest petrol station to me. Whoa. They don't have Tesco's up north. The nearest Tesco to me is 40 minutes away. Don't think so. I think, is there an SO near me? I'm sure I saw one of them coming down. I think so. Because I have got a bar left. But I don't want to be paying like these ridiculous prices. So, hmm, I'll have to see. I can't remember the one that I drove past. Because one SO was 150 and then the other SO was 155. And I was like, you robbing little... Hmm. So, yes, what time do they open? I thought, like, oh, they open at 7. I might actually get petrol on the way back today. I'll have enough to get me there. But, yeah, I might... um. Just have it on the way back. Seven miles, 20 minutes. Let's have a look. So I'm going to sit in the car, have a little ponder for about five, ten minutes, and then we'll get on the road and you shall see me at the distillery tour, okay? <laughs>
I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Second and the third and the rest of it You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door lock I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances there are nothing for us I like get on the cherry on top Be one of the things I love We don't have to move so fast, baby I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of Would you look at that it's raining and i had all intentions when i come back of putting my gym gear on going out on the balcony doing some yoga no you girls way too full from that so you would have seen from the distillery talk probably not a lot and i didn't realize but once you was in there you weren't actually allowed to take photos and videos when you was in the rooms because it says something like with the technology with the big bits of equipment it could tamper and like be quite problematic so i couldn't get many photos in there or um videos but i did of the gift shop and i did of the restaurant now i must have got nearly every other person that walked in stare as they come in so i went in and asked for a table for one the lady was first of all very surprised she was like one i was like yes please they sat me right at the front as you walked in so obviously everyone that was coming in was looking because the chair opposite me had my bags on so they could tell no one else was there and then i got my glass of lemonade and for some reason i just got this overwhelming feeling you know when you can suddenly feel your heart beating really hard and i started to get like sweaty palms and then i thought oh do not have a meltdown in here so I got my iPad out, connected it to the Wi-Fi, and just put some YouTube on. Didn't have the volume on because for some reason my headphones wouldn't connect to it. I need to sort that out later. Um, and just put some YouTube on with subtitles. And I was thinking, like, just please calm down. What was that noise? Something buzzing. But I don't know what's buzzing. No idea. Is my phone here? Oh, yeah, my phone is here. And yeah, I just put um, a YouTube video on and was just like, I need to just like not focus on it and not look at everyone when they're walking past. There was an elderly couple, bless them, there was a couple of tables stand and um, I sat there and then when my start come out, obviously they realised I was on my own and they looked over and smiled and they was like, are you going to eat all that? Because the portion size is 10 out of 10. Um, very, very impressed. And they was like, are you going to eat all that? And I was like, I like my food. And they nodded and they was like, what have you got for Maine? And I said, oh, fish and chips. They said, that's what we've got. Hopefully it's a good bit. Oh my God, the size of it, ginormous. And then they was like, do you want to come and sit with us? And I was like, oh, thank you, but no, thank you. I was like, I'm just watching some videos. They was like, oh, okay, as long as you're right on your own. And I was like, yeah. And like the waitresses kept coming over like, is everything all right? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Like, please stop because you're going to bring on like an anxiety attack or I'm going to have an absolute meltdown. But I did it. I went to a restaurant on my own, hallelujah. The tour was very interesting. Um, it is mainly focused around whiskey, which I'm not really partial to whiskey. Uh, that's something I would say like the grandparents drink. I've got really, oh, itchy nose now. But it was interesting to see like how they make it and like to go through like the casks and how they're imported and how they're like tested and strengths, everything like that, like what they're mixed with. And then we got onto like the gin and the vodka. Then we went through to like the little lab bit. Then we sat there and had all the tasting. 
Well, the whiskey, oh, I get shoes just thinking about it. That was strong, okay? I think the whiskey was about 56%, and then the vodka was 42, and I think the gin was 46. The vodka, on the other hand, you know sometimes with vodka, it is just like pure alcohol when you take it neat. This one, it had no sharpness, no like toxic, just like you know you're taking vodka. It was actually very smooth and clean. And then the gin, now we all know I don't like dry gin or like original gin. Um, this was lovely. This was absolutely lovely. Nothing like Gordon's and that where it's very dry and sharp. This was their own brand. It is juniper berries, citrus peel, black pepper and lemon so it's very citrusy it very much reminded me of tankery number 10 along those lines of like a nice citrus if you didn't like a uh, dry gin so it's safe to say i've got a little carried away there is two bags there actually um got some glasses didn't i so i got a highball glass first of all love all the packaging very sleek, and you would have seen from the videos of the gift shop, I just, I was in my absolute element. So I got a highball glass. It's just a simple highball. I thought this would be perfect to have a G&T or vodka or anything like that in it. So I got that for me, and then Mama G said to pick up a tumbler for Dada. I asked if she wanted a glass, she said no. So I did ask her. But this was the Lakes Distillery little tumbler. So that is for Dada. And then, of course, you've got to get the gin glass. I really did want the sherry glass, but I thought no one drinks sherry. So there's no point in it. So I thought, gin glass, absolutely. How do I get you out now? Why are you not coming out? And oh my God, the sat nav took me all the way through these country lanes that literally you could barely just get my feet down. If there was anything else coming towards me, not a chance in hell. And then this is the balloon gin glass with the Lakes Distillery once again. So, yes, I've got a few glasses. As I say, I think they will be for my cabinet, obviously, until I move out and I've got somewhere nice to put my nice glasses. Um, I am going to keep them in the drinks cabinet. Love the little bags as well. Very, very cute. And then in this one... I picked up these. Now, I'd seen these online, and they are mainly to have for whiskey, okay? They're dram glasses, and it's a set of four, and these were £15. The glasses, um, highball and the tumbler was £7.99, and the big gin glass was £8.99. So, I think that's pretty standard for, like, a brandy type of glass. These were 15 for the four, and as I say, they are traditionally for whiskey. But I really thought I could have these for Baileys. So they say faith, hope, luck, and love. And they are called dram glasses. But, as I say, you girl don't drink whiskey, so I'm not going to be having that. And then, ah, she has wrapped it up for me. Has she taped it? Because if she hasn't taped it, no, I can just undo it. So... They had an offer that you got £5 off of a bottle of this. So it was a 70cl and it was £34, but with a 5 off, I got it for 29 So I got the classic Lakes gin. So as I say, I don't normally do original gin, but this was so, so nice. 46%. So it is a, it's very strong, very potent. And let's say we had it with, when we tried it in the tasting, we had it paired with a fever tree Mediterranean tonic, which if you know me, you know I love a good fever tree tonic, okay? So that was highly lovely. Of course, I bought some postcards. I got one which showed the elderflower gin and then one which showed the fine blended whiskey. And on the back, it actually tells you a few little recipes that you can do with them and how to uh, work its magic and especially with the whiskey, how best to drink it and which cocktails to do for that. So I didn't actually realise they were little recipe cards. Oh, they're cute. So yes, got them. Then I've got a pen. Lovely little pen. I think this was £2.50. Canon, there we go, the Lakes Distillery. I thought very snazzy if I say so myself. 
And then I picked up, well, we actually got a mixer and a little gin free. So I picked up root, actually, I picked up loads. So I don't really know which one was free, but one of these was free. So I got the Fever Tree Mediterranean Tonic, which is the best one. The second to this would be the Cucumber Tonic Water from Fever Tree. But then, as you can see, I've got two, four, six, eight, nine samples okay well minis let's just say what have we got some of these are for mum and dad as well please don't think they're all for me like the big bottle of gin was for me these are for mum and dad i did message dada before i went in and was like do you want any minis he did reply so i just bought them and then he replied when i was eating my fish and chips and was like yeah get me a few and i was like too late already got them like your girl's eating okay so what have we got here let me lay them all out ba -ba -da 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 -da. And I thought, obviously, like, oh, they might just be a little UK brand. They're actually um, in Japan, Far East, America. Like, they're getting up there, okay? So, I got two of these because I was contemplating for the big bottle. Did I get the original or did I get the pink grapefruit? Because they've done pink grapefruit and we all know I love that. But I stuck with the original. So, I got two of the Mini's pink grapefruit to try. And I say, these are 46%. Thank you very much. And the minis, I believe, was four fifty to four ninety five. Um, it was more the whiskies that was a bit more expensive. And then I picked up an elderflower and a rhubarb and rose hip. As I say, I'm not really partial to those flavours, but Mum can try them. I can try them. It's just for the experience, you know. And then I picked up Mum and Dad an English vodka. Because, as I say, they do vodka as well. And that was very nice. That's 40%. And then for me, this was only 25%. But I picked up a salted caramel vodka. Now, we all know I don't like salted caramel. But they said that it is very nice paired with a little bit of lemonade. So, I'm going to give that a go. Not now, obviously. And then I picked one up for mum and one up for dad. They can choose whichever one they want. I picked up two fine blend whiskies. One in sherry cask and one in orange wine cask. And these are 46.6%. So, yeah. So, they've got a few little minis each. Alongside moi. And I've also got my big bottle. But now, the plan, my lovelies. So, the time is... Da -da -da -da, Half two. So, it has just started to rain, which, I mean, fabulous. Um, what I think I'm going to do, I took some photos this morning before I got all windswept and all of that. So, I need to create my logo and then I can do my logos and banners ready for tomorrow's upload. But I need to get the logos done because I need to do the intros. And then for the intros, obviously, I need that for the video I'm going to film. So I think I'm going to get my... Or do I get the filming done now? No, because I want my intro done. I'm going to... But not going to get some food, Shannon Lee. I am filled, okay? I'm filled. I'm going to get a soft drink. I might go and chill in the bedroom. Just chill while I'm doing the uh, logos. Once that's done, I'm then going to film the reading your confessions. And then I think pop the hair up. Go in the hot tub, come out, have a shower. I want to try the sauna out tonight. I'm going to try and give that a go. And then edit and export the footage ready for tomorrow. So, yes, that is the plan of action. Dinner, I don't even know if I'm going to want dinner tonight. I mean, I'll probably say this now and then it'll probably get to like half nine just before Naked Attraction and I want to put like the sausages or the kebab in the oven, won't I? Who knows? I'm very disappointed though. You know I got... Did you see I had a big baguette? That is like rock solid now. Rock solid. So that was a waste of 125 from Spa. But hey ho. Words can't explain. Oh, the little man's out again in his tractor. You know what? It is so nice to be up north. Because it's not like you drive down a road and it shops upon shops. It's like farms and fields. Like it's a very much working county. Whereas... Down south, you drive down a street and it's just flats, houses, shops, car dealerships. Like, there's no heritage. There's no countryside. There's no greenery at all. So, yes, it was very, very nice. A nice, enjoyable drive. And, yeah. Shad, stop rabbit. I'm going to get out of these. Right, shove the dressing gown on. Ah! 
get a drink and go and be productive, all right? I'm not nudie woody. I've got my lounge set on underneath, all right? And thank goodness, I've got some water. Just sitting here watching a big bang. I'm trying to do my logo. <laughs> of this bed my lovelies I mean look how tiny I look from there you're all the way over there you're at the end of the bed I'm like a little princess in the pee I'm like the pee in the bed not that I pee in the bed but the princess in the pee but I'm the pee because I'm so small definitely not a princess sitting there stuff in my face with a whole cucumber and hummus summer but hey ho I suppose it's better than having a large bag of crisp However, I do feel later I might cook one of them sausages. I don't quite know. Don't have too much because I've got my breakfast at half nine tomorrow and then my massage at 12. So, yes, don't quite know what the plan is for tonight. But this is hitting a nutritious spot if I do say so myself. Big Bang Theory on. Hola. It's a little bit later. Actually, it's quite a lot later. It's nine o'clock. And I haven't even edited the video yet. Absolutely fan derby dozy. So, this is great. I called and spoke to Mama G, so obviously we've got waylaid on the phone. And then I'm gutted because Naked Attraction's not on tonight. What's your girl gonna do? There's a new series apparently. Um, it's like first dates, but it's teen dates. So, it took a lot longer to export the footage over than I thought because it was almost 60 gig. If you know a little bit about like computers or like memory and storage, 60 gigs a lot. So I have just finished doing the transport. I've edited over all of the logos and the intros, outros. Oh god, this light ain't good. I look like a gremlin, don't I? So now. I just need to filter through all of the bits and bobs because when I say for example come away and I vlog I'm very OCD so I have a folder of just purely like footage that I've filmed and then I have a folder that goes in like my memories folder in the hard drive which is all to do with like the photos and like just little bits and bobs oh my gosh Shannon Lee that is not flattering angle that can go in so yes what I need to do now is just filter through what's going into what folder for example also decipher out the bits that I filmed for the confessions video and yeah I have 
I've got two bits of cucumber left. I'm kind of taking a break from them. And I've started working my way on a pack of share bag quavers. So yes, this will be me for pretty much the majority of the night. I'll check in with you once I've edited because once I've edited and exported, the internet here is quite fast. So hopefully it won't take too long. And then I just need to export all of the stuff on the memory card that's in the camera over to the iPad. I have also been doing some TikToks. Not the TikToks like, everybody about you and I just... I'm not into like dancing on TikTok. I've got two left feet, but my TikToks are pretty much like scenery and bath and like where I've been at and travels and just funny bits and bobs. So I've got a few saved up in the drafts for that. So as I say, if you haven't found us on TikTok, it will all be in the intro and down below, all of that jazz. But yes, yeah, I've got the fan on because it's roasting. I've turned the heating down to 25. And I'll probably turn it down to about 15 before bed. But yes, need to stop rabbiting. Need to get this done. And I'll check in with you when I've actually done it. Like I said, that I was going to do like two hours ago. But now I'm just stuffing my face. <laughs> I've finished editing. It is half nine. I'm just in the process of exporting it. Excuse the hair. It's wild. It always goes wild after I wake it, don't it? And then I've just uploaded the footage so far for the log cabin. Um, we're hitting four hours already. <laughs> I just waffle absolute rubbish tonight. Absolute rubbish. Thank goodness I've got my fan over here. Look, I've got it popped up on the little chair. Please ignore the dressing table because that is an absolute mess. I do need to film tonight my skincare routine. But I'm thinking, do I just do it tomorrow i'm having a proper self-care day tomorrow right my lovelies obviously i'm going down to have my viking breakfast which your girl is very very excited for oh news update cucumbers gone half a pot of hummus is gone and the whole share bag of quavers is gone who's doing recommended portion sizes not me um so i'm having my breakfast tomorrow and then obviously i'm gonna have my massage i cannot wait I've got an hour and a half full body massage booked in. I don't think I'll be able to film any of that because obviously the lady might not want to be filmed. That's completely understandable. So I might actually do my skincare after the massage. I think that might be what I do because so it's half nine there. I need to wait for it to export, which I think I've kind of mucked up because it's saying now two hours to export it. Because now I'm removing all of the background noise off of the clips for the log cabin. So, yeah, I think I've messed myself up a bit there. So, I want to aim to be in bed by about 11-ish. Be up for 7. That's my 8 hours. Get up. I don't want to start packing. <sighs> Tomorrow's my last day. That's why I just want to chill. I have read some more of my book. You would have seen earlier when the bath was running. I am... Um, was reading some of my book. I think I'm on like chapter 10 or 11. Really, really good. The book I'm reading for this month, my lovely, so it will be in this month's monthly favourites, is by Ollie Ollerton, who is one of the guys from SAS, Who Dares Wins, if you've watched that programme. And it's called All or Nothing. Revenge is a game you can't afford to lose. Very, very good little pop twist. So I think I'll wake up tomorrow, have a cup of tea, then maybe read a bit. I did, I brought my own crystals, didn't I? Because I wanted to try and read up on it and I just don't think I'm going to have time. I've not watched any of my Netflix series that I wanted to. When I spoke to mum earlier, she was like, you're back Friday. I was like, I know. She was like, could you stay there longer? I was like, I could easily do like 10 days here. Easily, because there's still loads of stuff that I want to do. Like, I've come to the Lake District and I haven't even gone to the Lake District. Like, I haven't gone in the hills or I haven't done any walking. I bought all of the stuff. I just haven't done it. So I said to Mum, I think I would definitely come back. Maybe in the summer. I don't know if this summer or potentially next summer. I don't know. But I would definitely want to come back in the warmer months. Because it's got the patio bit out the back. So you can have sun loungers. And the sun trap that where these are, you could get a really good tan like that here. So, yeah. 
I said to mum, I can easily do 10 days. I would love to come back here. And I would want to maybe stay in the other Darwin Lodge, the one next door, because this is all like the matte black and the chrome suite. And the one next door is like copper and rose gold. I think that'd be really nice. But I've just been editing, as I say, the confessions video. I really like this background. This headboard is gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It looks so nice on the background. If I was here, you know what I would love to do, my lovelies? Because it's so spacious and like there's perfect corners there to do try on clips and you could do try on clips here. There's so much lighting. I would want to come in for say like a week, literally <laughs> load the car up with home bargains or me bargain shops, Primark try on hauls. I was thinking of doing the Primark try on haul here. Sorry for the flashes. It's I'm watching that team first day. Oh my God, cracks me up. Um, I was thinking of filming my Primark haul while I'm here, but there's a lot of stuff and it's all already packed in the boot of my car and I just think, oh, I can't bother to get it out. So we're going to have uh, be back to my box standard room for that. But I thought, yeah, one video that I've done here and I'm just looking at it, even like the little clip, I haven't even done the thumbnail yet, but the little clip, I just love it. I need to find out where they got this headboard and where they got this bed because the idea of having it raised is genius and the size of it as i say i'm sure it's like a queen size bed when you see like in previous footage and that i look tiny on this bed like i'm i'm absolutely in love so yeah i have been having a watch me two first days nearly all my water's gone that's one thing i'm drinking a lot more water while i'm here which is good and then I'm just going to chill because I've got no naked attraction. So I don't know what I'm going to watch at 10, to be honest. Which is, what is it? Oh, Celebrity Gogglebox. I haven't watched Gogglebox in a while, actually. 24 hours in police custody. Family Guy. 8 out of 10 cats does countdown. See, because I don't normally watch telly. Like, at home I'm always on Netflix. But... I don't want to sign into my Netflix on here because I will probably forget to sign out and then I'll probably have God knows watching God knows what on my account. And also Netflix is apparently going up to £20. If that is, I'm cutting back some of my uh, members on there because that is expensive, let me tell you that. Um, yeah, I haven't watched any Netflix while I've been here. I haven't done half the things I want you to do. But I do feel chilled. I do feel refreshed. And um, if you've seen... The reading my well reading your confessions video which was up last week let me know what you thought i was editing it back and i thought you look refreshing like you look you've got new hair you've got a bit of slap on you look well presented even though you're just in a dressing gown you look like put together like i do feel this little break oh Tell you what, ain't helping. These shorts are cutting into my thighs. Juice Louise. Um, <laughs> I do feel this week has been good for me. I do feel like I've de-stressed. I was speaking to mum earlier and like she was saying about the parking and all the problems at home. And I was like, I'm not looking forward to coming back to it. I'm really not. I feel like I feel so chill here. I don't want to get home and then like within five, ten minutes, I'm like... <laughs> blood pressure through the roof and just everything like that so i was just like i'm gonna make the most of it while i'm here i say i'm not driving tomorrow um i need to check everything on the car tomorrow so everything's topped up i'm very paranoid about one of my tires you know when you just think like, i think i'm overthinking it but i want to go and check it again in the morning so yes i am gonna wait for this to export and then it needs to upload i then need to transfer the footage from the memory card that's in you onto this to go onto the iPad. That is what um, you don't see, my lovely. So it's when I film on this, it then goes into the laptop because I have to edit the footage, and then it also goes onto the iPad because I like to try and take snippets of certain bits so then I can get like some content for Instagram and trying to deal with TikTok and all of that at the moment. I'm still learning, but yeah, rabbit, 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 as per always. Will you see me anymore? <sighs> I'll check in before bed with you, all right? See you in a bit. The reason I couldn't find Naked Attraction on E4 is because there are brand new episodes. <laughs> See, you girls very happy. I was so excited that I put in my Turkish coffee. Yes, it is <laughs> 10 past 10 and I'm having a kofta. 
But I'm not going to bed till probably midnight because after this is a new series called Kinky Daters. It's like first dates, but a kinky version. So you know what? I'm living my best life watching all of the programs that I wouldn't have been able to watch if B was here. So <laughs> I'm enjoying them all. And as I say, I'm going to demolish this. This smells absolutely insane. And I'm loving life. About to watch Naked Attraction. <laughs> Feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive Ready for breakfast. I've just chucked this on. I've still got my little um, loungewear top on underneath. I have deodorant in. I have washed. I am smelling lovely. I smell like a La Via Ben today. Jeans, which is probably a mistake, but they're quite stretchy. And I've just put on my gym trainers because, I mean, I did bring them for all the intentions of going and doing some trekking and they haven't made it up. Okay, so I thought, might as well use them to like a walk down, you know, to have some breakfast. It is now quarter past nine, so I'm gonna have a little mooch on down. I've got my backpack, I'm gonna put my headphones in and then I can just sit there and watch some YouTube and like catch up on some bits and bobs. But yeah, this is the outfit for breakfast. Hair up, not an ounce of makeup as I say, because Today I want to film my skincare routine and obviously I've got the massage at 12 so I don't want any makeup on. My head's going to be in a hole for like an hour and a half so yes. And then when they come for the massage the hair will go fully up because I don't really want any oils or anything going in the hair. I'll be like it's just been done I can't afford to let it get greasy already okay. So yes let's head out and see what beautiful day the Lake District has for us. <laughs> It's just started to spit, so I was having a quick march back up the hills to the room because I didn't want to get caught out in the rain. Oh my god, I was tough little piggy. That breakfast was amazing. I ordered the Viking breakfast and I said, Oh, can I have a side of um hash browns as well, please? Oh not hash browns, black pudding. She was like, are you sure you're going to be able to eat it all? I was like, yeah. I ate it and oh my God. I do feel like I could eat it again, but I am happily filled. Like the steak was perfect. It was cooked like rare, medium rare at most. Because we all know I like my steaks moving. The eggs were great. The black pudding, oh my God, the thickest, softest black pudding. They had, um, I think it's watercress on the top. Then there was potatoes, tomatoes onions oh my god it was so so nice um i got in there and i was the only one and then when my food came and i got the camera out it started to get busy so i was like okay then so i just like done a little time lapse of me eating and that was about that but yeah i am stuffed like a piggy now it's half 10 so i think i'm just gonna put my pjs on because i don't know i think i gotta get naked naked for the massage but yeah I'm going to chuck my PJs on. I don't want to pack yet. I'm not going to pack yet. Um, <laughs> I think I might just do my thumbnail and then maybe have a look on TikTok and just chill until I have me massage. So yes, last final day. Sad times. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. Oh my 
my god, I feel so sleepy and relaxed. Ooh! That is exactly what I needed. I smell fabulous. She actually gave me a mini facial as well. So I'm still going to be doing my skincare routine, but yes, she gave me a little facial. So this has been my get up in my little robe. And you know what? You know I said you can't change the blinds. She somehow managed to close them half. I don't know how she did it. I tried like finning around with it. But I just know that I'm going to end up like pulling it off. It is raining. Let me try and show you the rain. I'll show you from the hot tub. It sounds really nice. I don't know what that is on my forehead. It sounds so nice. So Shannon, cue silence. I don't know if you would have heard any of that, my lovely. Yes. That was ow. Gorgeous. An hour and a half massage. And as I say, she done a little facial as well for me. And we was having a really good chat. Um, she was really into like supernatural and paranormal. What is that on my head? No idea. Um, she was really into... Ah! You're not even going to see me, are you? Well, that's not going to work, is it? Let's put you here. You can rest on the toaster. Um, we were talking about like the supernatural and everything like that. And uh, like obviously paranormal and what's going on in the world. And she's gave me some like really good books to look over and help. And oh, I just smell lovely. So it is now two o'clock. My hair blesser. I said to her, I was like, it is going to be very knotty. I said, so like, don't worry if you can't run your hair for it, but I had like a proper full head massage, which was lovely. So I think now, I might start to pack a little bit, maybe just like putting the food and bits and bobs together, because the clothes are just gonna be chucked in, ain't they? But yeah, it is, uh, as you can see from this window, can you see, absolutely pouring down, but hey ho, it's still lovely. I think she said I can go in the hot tub after two hours, but, Canon, there we go. I don't think I will go in the hot tub tonight, because then I feel like I'm going to be like all chlorine-y. I do think I'm going to go in the sauna tonight again, though, and then I can have a nice final bath. So, yeah, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to have a catch-up. Do my thumbnail quickly. I did start it earlier, but I didn't really finish it. So, I'm going to finish that off. Chill to maybe like about four-ish. And then I can start to slowly pack. And then think of what I want for dinner. Whether I'm going to cook or get room service. I don't know yet. <laughs> right, I've got to come down with me on. And guess what's happened? I've become hungry. So, I want food. Shop. I think, because obviously I've got bits to use, I'm not obviously going to use everything I bought. Oh, I didn't even tell you, I was so gutted. I went to the farm shop after my breakfast and they didn't have any chicken palmos or Turkish delights. So I can't take any home. I was very, very gutted about that. But yes, anyway, I think what I'm going to do today, put the oven on first of all. Let's put it on 180. Oh, and let's hope I don't lose my dressing gown in this, shall we? I think what I'm going to do, I've got a little bit of hummus left. Me trying to be healthy had the whole blooming cucumber, didn't I? So I've got nothing for me wraps. So I think I'm going to have some wraps with the Greek beef king kebab. I think there's five or six meatballs on that. And then I'm going to use the rest of the bacon up, because I can't be bothered to take that with me. And I'm going to use a bit more of the cabbage. So I'm going to put the hummus over the wrap, put a couple of meatballs in with my, like, cabbage, bacon, slaw thing. Yeah? We'll see how that goes. 
Do I want cheese in it? No, probably not, because I don't think cheese is going to go well with hummus. Would it? No. Nah. Let's not do that. Let's get the pan. And then, buy this way, because what is the time? 20 past three. Of course I'm going to be hungry later. Apologies, I keep redoing this. I'm paranoid it's going to uh, drop off. Um, <laughs> I think if I do this now, then I can do the last set of the dishwasher on. And then if I get hungry later, I can do like toast or pancakes. I've got my tucks, my nacho cheese. I can do everything except actually recook again. Because I've got cheese. Oh, I do, do I want a sausage with it as well? Or oh, should I be naughty? I'm going to have a Cumberland sausage with it as well. My bad. Don't judge. So, yes, let's get cooking. Someone else, I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. show you because I'm um, necky necky oh my god I've just done 15 minutes which is like the allotted time that you're supposed to but look look at the state of me okay I'm gonna miss jumping up on this bed I'm really gonna miss it this is probably the thing that I'm gonna miss most actually no the bed the sauna the bath the hot tub everything I'm gonna miss everything my lovelies, I've been productive. I've just filmed my skincare routine. So I'm going to get that edited, get it uploaded. And I wonder what's on TV tonight. Hopefully Naked Attraction. Because I didn't think it was on. But it was. It was just because it was a new one. Oh, Gino. Fred, that's going to be a repeat, ain't it? Oh my God, it's at the time. Guys, it's half eight. Oopsie. Um, that time kind of got away with us, didn't it? My bad. So, I don't think I'm packing tonight. Yes! Naked Attraction's back! Woo! -hoo! Every night, and it's new first date. Oh, I'm, oh, but that means that I'm not going to go to bed till midnight. And I've got to be up at seven. Hmm. I suppose I could get up at eight. As long as I'm out for nine, I probably will end up getting up at seven and going, why would I go? So I'm set for the night. So I've got, when's that on? That's at 10. So I've got an hour to edit this, export it, all of that jazz. And then I'll check in with you when I'm getting ready to watch First Dates. I'm so sad it's coming to an end, my lovelies. So, so sad. Not happy. Not happy at all. I don't want to go home. I want to stay here and live my best life. Okay, is there anything wrong with that? I don't think so. <laughs> mm. 
my last night in this giant bed and naked attraction was a repeat so i didn't really focus much on that what i did focus on ow was tiktok and watching videos of soldiers coming home and having quite a few tears to myself i should be on tiktok i was watching that i was seeing a page of time traveler and these dates and events and what's to come in the world and i just think oh my god my brain can't deal with this so yes it is midnight i'll be up at seven because i've got a pack but i'm gonna miss this bed so much i just want to take it with me with the sauna definitely will be coming back in my lovelies maybe perhaps in the summertime don't know if it'll be this summer or next summer but I definitely want to come back to this resort because there's still so much I want to do in the area. And if the beds are this comfy, your girl's coming back. So, good night, and I'll see you in the morning when I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to be a very depressed, moody Shannon because I've got to pack. Good night. Good morning! It's the last day! Well, not even the last day. It is home time day. Which makes me very, very sad. First things first, before I start packing, is... I like the dishwasher. Today is the first task at hand, as always. And then, pack. Which... I'm not gonna lie, I'm very sad about it. Is it just me or does anyone at the end of a holiday you just think, how scary does time go? Time has gone so fast, like it is so scary. Ah, too loud for me in the mornings. Like it literally seems yesterday I arrived here. But obviously it's not. Um, it was five days ago. The weather is dry, which is good. There was a lot of rain throughout the night, but it's dry now. So, fingers crossed, it stays dry for the majority of oh gold of the journey. I hope it stays dry for the journey. That would uh, be a good thing, wouldn't it? Oh, quite rich. But yeah, very, very sad. Oh my god, I've loved my time here, as I say, I think I would definitely come back here. I would probably go for this lodge again, Darwin, but maybe go for the copper version that I said. The only thing, this morning, my shoulders are still sore, I haven't yet looked, but she did say that it might be common to like come out in bruising, so... I'm going to go and check my back later, just in case, because I have got, I did have a bruise somewhere on my arm. I've noticed, oh, there it is. So I've got a bruise there, and I've noticed that my skin's a little bit redder. I don't know if that's obviously perhaps from the blood flow and all of that jazz. But yeah, my, uh, my shoulders are a tad sensitive, I'm not going to lie, so... Uh, we're just going to go with that, but yeah. Sad times, my lovelies. Sad, sad times. Um, I'm going to probably pack off camera just purely because I get very stressed and I have major anxiety that I always end up forgetting something. So that's the dishwasher done. So yes, I will see you once I'm all packed up. I'm not gonna rush, I've got plenty of time. I ain't got to check out till nine. I wanna be out by about half eight-ish though, because I wanna get some petrol and then be on the motorway for about nine-ish. And then it's telling me about six and a half hours. So woohoo! Let's go. <laughs> you can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down I had all 
all intentions of using these. It just didn't quite go to plan, did it? And that is it, my lovelies. All ready to go. Let's not make this any more emotional than it is. Let's get the last bag in and let's get on the road. Bye, cabin. See you soon. Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high. I'm back home Um, Traffic was great I left at 9 Got on the motorway bit at 9 And got back just after 2 o'clock So pedal to the middle a bit But someone is already Tucking into the food that I brought back from her I left her one of the dinky sausage rolls. Definitely tell it's homemade compared to like our ones. Mm. So yes, I'm back. I've unpacked. I'm just gonna tidy up the last few little things. And then what I'll do before I round out the vlog, I'll show you a few things that I picked up from that shop obsessions. Because there's a few candles, a few diffusers, and just a few cute bits. So I'll do that. I'm just gonna have a quick bite to eat because I'm starving and then we shall do a little haul and then conclude the video my lovely. So I am back in my normal surroundings and just like that the log cabin is done but as I say I just wanted to show you a few things that I picked up from I think it was called Gift Company which was in Carlisle but it reminded me of a little shop that was in Braintree Outlet so this isn't everything that I've got because I got some bits for mum for Mother's Day. So they've gone in the back room to be hidden. But the first thing I picked up, this was £3 down from 6 And it's a little notebook and it basically just says my bucket list. And I really liked that. Obviously, it is to write in your bucket list. But I thought I might do it, maybe have a page per thing I'd want to do. And then because I really want to start using my Instax camera again. And then I can maybe like attach a little Polaroid in it. That could be a cute idea. And then, of course, I've got some candles and I've got matching diffusers. So, the candles were four pound, four or five. And I think the diffuser was five or six. So, about 10, 12 pound for the set. The first set I got was citrus orange. Now, oh my God. This is just what you need for like the spring, summer months. You're probably thinking, we're in March now, like... You should be starting to get warmer. No, it is C to the O to the LD cold. That is why as soon as I got in, I put my candle on to burn. So yeah, candles are going to be a yearly thing all year round. And the second one that I got, it was pink. Oh God. <coughs> <coughs> Lost my little voice then. It's pink. It was Prosecco. I'm not really a fan of Prosecco, but a very nice spritzy little... Uh, smell shall we say and then i got a cushion so i got a cushion for mum and then i saw this one and there was two there was one that said this house runs on love laughter and disney which i really liked and then i saw this one and i just thought i like this saying a lot more so the cushion was 12 pound and i cannot wait for when i do my little speed clean of the bedroom and the bed is changed, this will be going on. But it's basically a cushion with Disney quotes. So I shall read it to you. You've probably seen it because I think this is... Is it on like canvases? I've seen it before. So it says, in this house, we let it go because Hakuna Matata and the bare necessities will always be our guide to infinity and beyond. All it takes is faith and trust and a little bit of pixie dust. While we just keep swimming, we whistle while we work, we believe in happy endings and we know life is always better under the sea because in this house we do Disney. And I just love that. I did want the other one, 
but you girls trying to be a responsible adult so i thought one cushion is better than none and one cushion is obviously better than two for my bank balance not for the decorative bit but i thought that was really good for 12 pound i thought it's a nice size it's a nice bit of wadding yeah beautiful products for the home absolutely loved it and it's reversible so heaven forbid i should ever stain one side we can just flip it over but yes my lovelies that is our little haul as i say you would have already seen like the bits that i got at the garden center slash farm shop mama g has already partaken in trying a few bits we've got dada's bits separated so he should be happy because he's got a good little selection mama g has already had a swiggle of whiskey and uh is loving life let's just say she says she needs it to warm her up i think that's a bit of an excuse ain't it but yes so today is friday back home i'm hoping to get this vlog up maybe next weekend so it gives me time to sit down and edit it because i as much as I love these videos, they take so long to edit, to edit, to export, to upload. So I currently had about like four and a half hours footage when I last done my upload. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure how much we're going to have now. So we just got to kind of take it. And I like to try and do with these vlogs like an hour a day, because if I sit down and I have to do it all in one hit, <sighs> And then to upload it, like, to upload is probably going to take a good couple of days. So I do hope the internet's not going to have a little mare with me. But yeah, as I say, this is another log cabin video. I've also almost lost an owl. Can you see that? Yeah. So need to sort the nails out. Tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow I'm going to do a bit of filming. I've got a uh, Primark haul to film. That when I come in with a bag, mum was like... Oh, shannon lee she was like there's primarks everywhere like you could have just got your one i was like no they had some nice bits in this one so it was rude not to weren't it and then i want to film a bargain shop haul i need to do my speed cleaner bedroom so we've got like a good little mixture coming up all right my lovelies but i think i'm gonna sort these nails out and maybe take them off because this one's practically peeling off i've chipped that one that's stuck on they just need to have a good detox we've had like a week of spa well not a week we've had four days of relaxation but the nails now just need they need to have a bit of a refresh don't they so as i say yeah i do hope you've enjoyed it it's probably not much different to if b was with me because you won't really see him in the vlogs anyway but yeah this was your girl having an independent road trip six and a half to seven hours away in the lake district loving life going for breakfast on her own going for lunches on her own going for gin tours who says that you have to be with someone to do something if you want to do something get up go out and do it life is too short to just be thinking oh well no I, i'll miss out or I'll, I'll do it another time just take the plunge and do it my lovelies because i absolutely love this and i said to mum i could actually do with this like once a year just for me she was like oh thanks but yes as i say so if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below as i say leave me a comment what was your favorite bit of the vlog have you ever been to the lake district or cumbria any recommendations have you booked through host seasons as i say i will leave the details for the lodge that i booked down in the descriptions box below and yeah i'm back home back to reality work is back on monday coming back to reality with a sharp what was it a short sharp shock I think that's it and you know what i'm not cooking tonight i think i'm gonna get chicken shop or maybe the 20 kfc hot wings for 5.99 take care my lovelies stay safe and i'll see you on the next one bye guys mm -hmm.